Hello, I'm Morgan Allison, Application Engineer for Tektronix, and today we're going to talk about the basic settings in SignalView PC. This video is intended to assist anyone who's brand new to SignalView PC and to provide a foundation for the examples shown in the other videos in this introductory series. All of the RF acquisition systems from Tektronix share the same user interface, so once you learn how to use SignalView PC, you can also use our real-time spectrum analyzers or wideband oscilloscopes to do advanced signal analysis. SignalView PC is a very mature software and it provides a wide variety of measurements and capabilities. I'll walk you through the menus and options and get you familiar with the basic settings and features in SignalView PC and help you be more successful using Tektronix equipment. The first thing I like to point out to new users is that this thing operates just like a spectrum analyzer at its core. You'll notice the big four settings, center frequency, reference level, span, and resolution bandwidth at the bottom of the screen. If all you need to do is use SignalView PC as a spectrum analyzer, these settings are all you need. The number one most important control in SignalView PC is the preset button. If you ever get hung up with some settings that cause unexpected behavior, you can always use preset to put SignalView PC back in its default state. I use this all the time. Right next to preset are the replay and run stop buttons. These control the acquisition state of the instrument. We will talk more about replay features in another video. The menu bar along the top of the window is your hub for accessing settings and features. The first two icons are the recall and save buttons. As you may have guessed, Recall allows you to load data and settings you've saved previously, and Save allows you to save data, screenshots, settings, and measurements. The Undo Redo buttons allow you to undo an action if you've mistakenly changed a setting, or switch back and forth between settings quickly. The Select Displays button brings up a new window that lets you pick which displays or measurements you want to use. You can pick as many displays as you want, but my comfort level is to have at most five displays up at one time. Otherwise, my poor monitor gets too crowded. We will be using this button a lot in later videos. The Settings button opens a control panel for the selected or highlighted display at the bottom of the screen. We will also be using this button frequently in later videos. The trigger button gives you control of the hardware trigger for your spectrum analyzer. This allows you to set a signal condition upon which you want the analyzer to capture data. There are many trigger types and options depending on which instrument you are using. The acquisition control panel gives you visibility and control of the hardware acquisition parameters like acquisition bandwidth, IQ sample rate, and frequency reference source. The analysis control panel provides control of acquisition time, frequency analysis options, and amplitude units. There are many handy tools you can access just by right-clicking on a given display. The available tools are context-dependent, meaning there are different tools available for different displays. The Spectrum display has the largest number of options. The Select tool is used by default. It's your typical pointer arrow, and it's used to select things and interact with markers. The Zoom tool allows you to zoom in and out both horizontally and vertically by clicking and dragging. Dragging up and down, zoom in and out vertically. Right and left, zoom in and out horizontally. This doesn't change any settings, just what is displayed on screen. The Pan tool lets you pan around the screen. Again, this doesn't change any settings. Span Zoom allows you to click and drag to change the span. Clicking and dragging left increases the span, and dragging right decreases the span. CF Pan lets you change the center frequency by clicking and dragging. Reset Scale changes the scale to the default settings used by the display when you first open it. Finally, we have Markers. Markers are available on every single display. Marker to Peak finds the maximum value in the display and puts a marker at that point. 
marker to center changes the center frequency to match the marker's frequency. Our user interface designers did a very good job naming add marker and all markers off. Very self-explanatory. The goal of this video was to provide some familiarity with the locations and functions of major user interface elements in SignalView PC. The content in this video also lays the groundwork for the other videos in this series. Thanks for watching.